everybody, I'm Nick from DIY Detail. And I'm Ivan, and we're here to talk to you today about decontaminating your paint. Some might ask, what is decontaminating your paint? Well, we get all sorts of weird little things sticking to our paint. Brake dust, uh, exhaust fumes, and environmental things that just stick to the paint and hold onto it and make it so that it feels like sandpaper. Yeah, it feels like sandpaper and you're gonna notice it on white paint especially, like those little red dots that look like rust. Right, and they actually are rust. So that is the metallic fallout from your brakes. It's extremely hot. Those little pieces of metal, little shards of metal go into the paint and stick there. How are we gonna do this, Ivan? Right, well, we're actually gonna start with a rinseless wash. And the reason we wanna use a rinseless wash is for the lubrication. Now, we're gonna be rinsing it off, but we still want that lubrication from the rinseless wash. And we're gonna be using an iron remover. So we talked about those iron particles. The iron remover is going to help dislodge them and break them down. But the secret weapon here today is this. Uh-oh. The clay towel. The clay towel in our signature red and black colors. What the heck's a clay towel? I've heard of a clay bar. Can right. you explain what a clay towel is? So I'll give you the container, never to be seen again. So here we have a clay towel. So it's a high quality microfiber towel on one side, but on the other side, we have a synthetic clay surface. Now what makes our towel a little different than most is the perforations. That gives us better lubrication, place for the dirt to go, but at the same time, and most importantly, like I mentioned, is the extra lubrication. So if we happen to put a little too much pressure on this, the liquid that's inside this microfiber so we're gonna be putting it in our bucket of rinseless. Now, if we're pressing on it, that liquid's gonna be coming through the perforations. Wow, and the clay, the whole idea with clay is it's going to dislodge some of this decontamination. Right, and when you're talking clay, you need a clay lubricant. Well, as a clay lubricant, we're gonna go a little odd here. We don't have a dedicated clay lube yet. It's in the works though. But that being said, we're gonna be using the rinseless that's on the surface combined with the iron remover. This is a deadly combination for all that iron out there, so watch out. Yeah, so we'll be getting rid of the iron using mechanical action, so the clay and the iron remover. And at the same time, the iron remover is just a great lubricant. So we'll be using it to lube our clay towel. Very good. All right, how many gallons we got in this bucket here? We have four gallons of water. So four gallons of water equals four capfuls of the waterless wash. We don't even have to go into the details of how it all works. One capful per gallon. 256 to one is dilution or half an ounce to a gallon. Just happens that our cap is half an ounce and we have four gallons of water in there. Oh, it smells so good. Yes, it does. Apples. Yep. And our clay towel, we're gonna let it soak. Now, first off, even though this is a rinseless wash, rinseless washing does not mean we don't pre-rinse the vehicle. So we got our pressure washer here. So we pre-sprayed it with water. And Nick is applying the rinseless wash. And the rinseless wash is going to emulsify the dirt that's on the surface, take it away, and at the same time, leave behind a bit of lubrication for our claying process. Now you notice I didn't spray down the whole vehicle. We're not gonna bore you with doing the whole vehicle. We'll just do a couple panels. And with a rinseless wash, the less pressure you use, the better it is. So now that we've washed the vehicle, we want to put our sprayer in the bucket. And that's just going to give us the proper lubrication. We're just going to pre-treat the panel, give it a little lubrication before we clay. We've got our rinseless wash, a little extra lubrication here. Don't have to overthink it, just want to get the polymers working for us. The clay towel has a protective coating on it when it's brand new. And we need to take that protective coating off. So we're gonna do that on the glass. So we'll fold our towel in four, and this is the only time in the whole life of your clay towel that you're actually gonna use pressure on. So I'm putting a bit of pressure, and I'm working in different areas of the towel, and I'll flip it over, I'll grab the other side, And why am I claying the glass? Well, the glass actually is a little abrasive. It's gonna help in cleaning off that shipping uh, 
coating, as we can call it. And at the same time, you don't want to use pressure when you're claying, because if you use pressure when you're claying, you're going to possibly mar the surface. On the glass, we're not concerned about that. So I've done one side, I'll flip it over, do the other side. Now, if you want to do the honors and spray some iron remover on there, I would love to do that. Okay, so we've got a lubricated surface with the rinseless. I'm just gonna have fun with the iron remover. And you'll notice on the lower panels, when we give this a little dwell time, the lower you go, especially on the doors here, you're gonna see that purple start to appear. Ivan, what are we seeing when we see purple? So it's the thiol or the, the chemical base of the product that is actually reacting to the metal and breaking it down. So we're, yes, we're getting purple streaks, but those are a byproduct of that. This is what they call chemical decontamination when you combine it with a clay bar or a clay mitt. That's your mechanical decontamination. Exactly. And by lubricating our clay towel with the iron remover, we already have iron remover on the surface. Now we're gonna be removing that contamination. So we've let the iron remover dwell. We see a few little red streaks here and there. This car only has 3,000 miles on it, so it isn't that contaminated, but it does have contamination. And now we have the iron remover on here. We're gonna clay it off. And one thing about the iron remover, it has a little bit of an odor to it. So we want to use the least amount of it possible. I don't know if we can pick this up on camera. You see the foam is actually going pink. And that is the reaction from the iron remover, the chemical reaction with the contamination on the surface. If I may, Bug guts will get on the side mirrors a lot and clays just takes them right off. Oh, definitely, yeah. Don't forget to do the underside of the mirror. What's I mean, amazing to me is we started with that iron remover and then the rinseless wash lubrication and it's still lubed. Like the whole thing is just working. We don't have to reapply stuff. It's sudsing up. Um, yeah. How far can you get this to last, Ivan? What do you mean? Well, how much you know, mileage can I get out of the product we've used already? Because I feel like it's still saying wet on the panel. Yeah. And you haven't re-dipped or re-sprayed. You just no. keep on going. So I actually don't want to re-dip this into my rinseless wash or else that will contaminate the rinseless wash. As we're going along, we have four sides to this. When you feel the need, flip it over, add more iron remover to the surface and keep going. Now we've got these two panels done. Again, we're not going to do the whole vehicle because eh, we don't want a two hour long video. but. Actually, uh, it's not that long. Nonetheless, we don't want a very long video. So we're gonna rinse this off and we're gonna dry it using ceramic gloss. It's my favorite part of the process. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I've rinsed off the panel, now it's time to dry. Yeah, and when we're drying, especially when we rinsed off the panel, you don't wanna dry with just water. There's a couple reasons for that. First of all, water is not a great lubricant. So we need some lubrication and we wanna give it a little extra protection, a little extra gloss and some pop. Maybe a uh, ceramic gloss. Exactly. So ceramic gloss, a little bit on the surface, brand new bottle, so it wasn't <laughs> primed. Ivan's the less is more guy, so I'll do three sprays. Yeah, and drying towel. This is a twist loop towel. It's a very tight twist loop, great towel. I like to fold it myself. It just grabs the water. And with a ceramic gloss, we're protected. We're dry. And a bit on the glass, my dear sir. There we go. What I'm noticing is there's just not any sound as you're drying. No, it's just exactly. so smooth. I think people yeah. will realize when they decontaminate the paint, it's going to feel so incredibly smooth. Ooh. Get a little 
The great thing about ceramic gloss too is it has a 30 minute cure time. Right. So in 30 minutes, it's going to be even slicker than it is now. Exactly. But it's already nice and smooth and slick, but it gets better with age. Just like Ivan LaCroix. There you go. So if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, please leave them below. We're always happy to answer. And you can get a hold of Nick at Nick at DIYDetail.com.